Race fans, we are back at the New Smyrna Speedway, July 15th, 2017, for the second feature event of the night, and that is the Pro Late Models. We have 10 of them out here tonight, ready to go for 25 laps. Starting on the pole in the number 21, that is Brandon Johnson. To his outside in the 407, that's going to be Jason Bale. Row 2, it's Jeff Chiquette in the 9, and Robert Strader in the 11. Row 3 is going to be the 9M of Brad May in the 81 of Matt Mead. And, that's good. and they're going to be followed by the 5 of Andrew Franzone and the 24 of Dalton Smith. And rounding out this field in the 5th and final row, that is going to be David Hitz in the 54. And after having a rough sportsman feature and not even appearing in the heat race, that is going to be Earl Beckner in the 72. Now the driver to keep an eye on in this race is Jeff Chiquette in that red number nine. A couple of weeks ago, he won the Clyde Hart Memorial 100, super late model feature, and he's out here in the pro lates running as well. The other driver to watch is the driver of the other nine car, Brad May. Last year, he won both the pro late model and super late model track championships. And the third driver to watch for in this race is your outside pole sitter, the 407 of Jason Vale. So those three drivers, we're definitely going to keep an eye on them throughout the course of this race. All right, everybody's doubled up. Lights are out on the pace truck. We'll be going racing here in a few moments. Now, Jeff Chiquette, he also has a modified that he runs in here, so you'll be seeing him in the modified feature tonight as well. Green flag is out. We are racing late models at New Smyrna. Here we go through one and two. Looks like Johnson's going to try and stay on the inside. Johnson's going to get the lead off of two and on the back straight away. Chiquette is going to try the inside of Jason Vale to get second away. Not going to get much ground there. As Vale is being at his top side. We're going to go back through one and two again. Looks like everything's kind of shuffling out. Everything's kind of sorting out for the time being. One lap in the books. Brad May is going to try the inside of Chiquette. Not going to work. That 21 car, Johnson, showing the way out front in these early stages here. May's going to try it on the bottom again. Not going to get much ground. Right now, Johnson is going to try and see how far he can pull away from the rest of these guys. May keep shifting down a little bit lower in the corner. Looks like he's trying to use the inside line. He's going to run on your third place runner, Chiquette. Chiquette's going to try the bottom to get around Vale. Nothing's going to happen. Jason Bale still in that second spot in the 407. Chiquette's going to go low again. Bale's going to shift up a little bit higher on the track. Looks like Chiquette's going to stay on the bottom. He's gonna, no. Got right up on the bumper, down to the inside. Chiquette goes for second. Here we go off of four. Jeff Chiquette gets a little bit sideways. Jeff Chiquette is not going to get second. Now all this battling going on is good news for your leader, Brandon Johnson, as Chiquette goes to the bottom again. 
Going to keep low up four, and not much is going to happen. here on this three-way battle for second. Chiquette's going to get up under Vale again. Nothing's going to happen. Chiquette's going to stay low. Not going to happen. Here comes Brad May trying to stir things up in that other nine car. And Andrew Franzone goes around on the front straightaway. The five of Andrew Franzone spun around a couple of times on the front straightaway. The caution is out. And this is not what Brandon Johnson wanted to see considering the dominating performance he was putting on up until this point. But also a great save by Franz on that accident could have been much worse as he's got that five car collected under him and he's got it moving again. Right now, Brandon Johnson has to deal with Vale and Chiquette on this restart. The two of them and go Vale and Chiquette have been going at each other's throats for that second spot throughout the bulk of these of the green flag laps here. So we're gonna see how Johnson reacts to having the two of them trying to get that lead from him on this restart. NASCAR official has the one to go signal. Lights are out on the pace truck. Caution lights are out on the track. And it looks like Johnson is choosing the outside lane for the restart as Vale goes to the bottom for second place. And your friend zone has pulled that five car off the track. All right, here we go. Pace truck pulling off the track. These drivers are coming up to the restart line. Green flag is out. We are back racing. Brandon Johnson gets a, it's another good start, but Vale is staying close on the inside. Here comes Brad May. Brad May up on the outside. May's going to blow by Chiquette. He's going to get by Vale. Brad May is going to pull up into second. And oh, we have a car in the wall, the 54 in the wall, up in the floor. The 54 car looks like he has spun around. David Hits back that 54 car right up into the wall, got loose, and, and right and he went. Second caution has come out. Now as that 54 comes down the pits, just take a look to the damage on the rear end of that car. A lot of rear end a lot of crashes resulting in rear end damage tonight and no more is that more prevalent than on that 54 machine and look at that As it turns into the pits his night is done and 
then there were eight. Great restart for Brad May. Went from fourth to second. Gained a couple of spots on that restart. And the question is, can he get the win over Brandon Johnson? And there was a lap completed before this caution came out. As, they, as the caution came out, they were about to get the halfway signal. All right, one to go signal is out. Everyone's getting in double wide formation. Johnson once again choosing the outside lane. Caution lights are out. Lights are out on the pace truck. Let's see if Brad May can use the inside line here to his advantage and get that lead from Brandon Johnson. All right, here we go. Pace truck pulling off of the track. Green flag is going to come out now. We're back racing. Brandon Johnson gets the start. Here comes Chiquette now. Jeff Chiquette is going to try to get into second. Chiquette gets into second. But May staying down the bottom as they go through three and four. Um, May's trying to stay low. Johnson still showing the way out front. Looks like the train has caught up to Brandon Johnson. He's not running away like he was earlier in this race. As now he's got a rear view Miller mirror full of the jet concrete special of Jeff Chiquette. He's got a rear view Miller full of that number nine, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what he does with it. Chiquette. Mm. Got that run up on the rear bumper of Johnson. Now we're going to see what he does here. Chiquette going to try and get as close as he can up to that 21. He wants to win this race badly, ladies and gentlemen. I sure you know he does. He's going to get right up on the bumper of Johnson. Looks like he's going to knock the 21 loose. Chiquette was trying to knock the 21 loose. Here he comes on the bottom. Looks like Johnson still has the advantage up top. Johnson still has the lead. Chiquette not going to go, anyway, go away anytime soon. Chiquette's still on the bottom as they come off a of four. Jeff Chiquette is buying for that lead. He's not going to get it. And here comes Brad May to the inside. Sticking his nose down there trying to get second away from Chiquette. Jeff Chiquette going to stay close on Brandon Johnson. He's going to try and get. He's going to try again. He's going to poke his nose down to the bottom as they come on the front straightaway. Chiquette trying to get low on Johnson, and Chiquette's going to get low off of turn two. Chiquette's trying to get on the bottom here, and here comes Brad May. Brad May to the bottom. Ooh, we're three wide. Chiquette's going to go low again. Jeff Chiquette is going to come back through three and four, still glued to the bottom of the racetrack. Brandon Johnson up high. Chiquette gets a little bit loose. Brandon Johnson still has the lead. Chiquette not going away. Chiquette's going to keep trying to get the lead from that 21 car. Here he comes to the bottom again. Jeff Chiquette to the bottom. Chiquette. Going to tr keep trying to get the lead from Johnson. He's, uh, he's low on the bottom here. Ooh, he's not giving up easy. Coming to the line. Two laps to go. Chiquette's not backing down. He's going to keep that nine to the bottom even if it's the last thing he does. 
two to go out of the new Smyrna Speedway. Here we go through three and four. Here we go, white flag is out. One more lap to go, one more attempt for victory. Jeff Chiquette gonna stay on the bottom. Side by side with Johnson May, he's gonna try and get involved in here in the nine. Side by side on the back straightaway, side by side through three and four. Chiquette is down to the bottom. Johnson up top. Here they come in a turn number four down the front straightaway. Jeff Chiquette has the win. I believe Chiquette is the victory in a photo finish. Jeff Chiquette comes in at the very end and plucks the victory right from Brandon Johnson's hands. What an amazing finish. Here he comes into the Hampton in victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, your pro late model victory winner, Jeff Chiquette.